Hey friends, this is Wayne Brown over to Ram Man Inc. Don't forget the ink. Little situation came up today and I'm gonna go over a couple of things that I think that most of our clients don't know. Weren't around enough in the 80s or whatever, don't have experience with locking hubs, previous full wall drives, or let's just say field experience of breaking down and yada 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 so here's a really good example here's one of our ups locking hubs right like for 2009 up big bearing hub here's your shaft that's what the thrust bushing spine thrust bushing and all that's for to hold that in alignment do you see what I have here? You don't even have to have a hub or a locker installed if you don't want to. If you want to drive around like that, whether it be 5 miles or 50,000 miles, you can. That's what you get with locking hubs. You can disengage from the drivetrain and go on home. If you break this shaft or you break a U-joint out in the woods, you can disconnect and drive on home. You can't before you install the hubs because this is spline to the hub. If you break down somewhere, you pop a U-joint or a CV joint or something like that without hubs. I'm going to say this again. If you bust a U-joint, a shaft, a CV joint, the balls, the cage, or anything else without hubs, you ain't going nowhere. With hubs, you unlock and go on. So, we've had some people that ended up with busted turn dials. Here we go. It doesn't even matter whether it's in there or not. I don't care whether it's in there. That's not deadline. You can drive that 50,000 miles if you wanted to. Now, let me say that again. Ain't nobody deadlined anywhere. Get these people caught. I got to get to work. You don't understand. No. The truth is that you don't understand. That's one of the beauties of locking up. That's why you can disconnect and use your low range. You never want to get around the yard or the boat slip or whatever and use your low range and you can't unless you're in full wheel drive and all that. Tear up the yard or whatever. Yeah. Locking hubs are a beautiful thing. That's one of the reasons we use factory parts. Good factory parts. Now, let me show you something else. These are Reginald Ford Super Duty hubs. They're, no, are they the strongest in the world? No, but they own millions and millions of super duties. Let me show you something. I want to show you how simple it is to take these apart. If you can't do this, you shouldn't be driving a vehicle. If you can't do what I'm fixing to show you, you shouldn't be driving a vehicle, period any vehicle, even a forklift. Cage, bezel, turn dial, spring, turn dial, spring, cage. That's all there is to it. You want to know how to assemble it? I'm going to go real slow for the mentally impaired. Not retarded, repaired. I'm working on my politically correct. No. I didn't say turn this somehow. I didn't say mark up this mark with here. I didn't say you need to. I ain't what I said. 
Finished. If you can't do that, you shouldn't be driving a vehicle. Any vehicle. Or if you need to take it to the shop and get help, There's the cage installed. There's the assembly installed. It doesn't even have the front on it. Can you drive like that? Sure you could. This might come out. Now, what if that's all you got? It popped off and you lost it or your friends cut it off, tried to play a prank on you, and you said, hey, Ram man, I ain't got no bezel on my buggy. They stole my bezel and I ain't got any spring. What am I going to do, Ram man? Well, I'm going to send you a bezel. You're going to try to line it up with your screw holes. Bezel installed and screw it down. That's all there is to it, gang. This ain't rocket science. It ain't super difficult. Once again, these are just little fingers. Let's don't blow this out of proportion. It is what it is. Let's don't be a scared of it. Don't be a scared of it. God bless you. God bless America and happy trucking.